Kids and adults came together in memory of the young boy killed in the marathon bombings. Martin Richards' day of service is about paying it forward in his honor. Here's WBZ's Paul Burton. Packages, blankets, and cards of inspiration. On Sunday, kids were busy helping other kids in need as part of the Martin Richard Foundation Spring Service Day. 11-year-old Henry Wolf was busy making packages. I feel really good doing something like this because I feel like it's a good thing to help out others. So we'll bring it down this way. I'm trying, but I think I your system. Several projects were taking place throughout the city, including at the Edward M. Kennedy Institute, where volunteers formed assembly lines. And we are doing that by doing a bunch of projects that either directly benefit young people and directly impact them, or help organizations that they go to for support. Like Hope and Comfort, that distributes hygiene products for families in need. They're really expensive to buy and continually replenish. We receive so many requests every week and month from families in our city and in our region that are dealing with hygiene insecurity that really can't meet their basic needs. 250 volunteers from all ages are taking part in today's event. The theme this year is to create a better world for young people, just like Martin Richard did. He believed that one act of kindness can really make a difference. Martin Richard was the youngest victim of the Boston Marathon bombings, but his legacy lives on through the MR8 Foundation. You just get like a certain feeling when you're giving back that you know you're doing good and that even though people around the city are suffering that you can still help. A stuffed backpacks for children that are impacted by homelessness so we've given out about 4,500 backpacks to the community this year. Why do you love MR8 so much? I like to help people. By paying it forward through acts of kindness. In Boston, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.